All righty then. Monday Bible study, Matthew 26 is still. Look at this, we're getting up to verse 63. But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it must be in that same hour, said Jesus to the multitudes? Are you come out as against a thief with swords and staves for to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, and you laid no hold on me. But all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. Interesting. And they that had laid hold on Jesus led him away to Cephas, hmm. the high priest, Cephas, the high priest. Cephas, the high priest. I'm not sure. What do y'all think? Mm. Well, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna give it to us. It does appear. Serpent is how does a serpent talk? Yeah. What, what, and not only that, but why is the serpent's punishment to crawl? We are looking at how to pronounce the name of the Jewish high priest. By the way, did y'all see how the AI put Satan, the serpent, into the, because um, the AI runs everything around you. And so the AI put that on there, knowing we were coming here to learn how to pronounce something biblical. East, who, according to the Gospels, to kill his name? Caiaphas. Caiaphas. I used that hard C once, didn't I? I'll have to go back and look. Y'all need to rewind it and see if I did say, um, I think I said Caiaphas. But I did give the hard C. Yeah, Caiaphas. I knew that. All right, anyway. Uh, but Peter followed him afar off into the high priest's palace and went in and sat with the servants to see the end. Now the chief priest and the elders and all the council sought false witness against Jesus to put him to death and found none. Yea, though many false witnesses came, yet found they none. At the last came two false witnesses and said, this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. And the high priest arose and said unto him, answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witnesses against thee? But Jesus held his peace, and the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee by living God that thou tell us whether thou be Christ, the Son of God. Get to the rest tomorrow. Revelation 19. And out of his mouth goeth, goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of God Almighty. Now, that winepress was discussed earlier. Um, thrust in thy sickle. Thrust in thy sickle, Bible verse. According to Church of Jesus Christ, for behold, the field is white already to harvest, and lo, he that thrusteth in his sickle with his might, the same layeth up in store that he perisheth not, but bringeth salvation to his soul. Doctrine and Covenants 4 Revelation to 4. 14. Revelation 14, King James Version, Bible Gateway. Sorry, I had a little trouble there getting into all this. Thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time of the harvest is ripe. So it was reaped, but later on, and the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. So again, it's the same story told over and over and over. And in some places, just over and over. 
Um, so the wine press of the fierceness and wrath of God Almighty, it's told to you in 1915 and it's told to you in 1419. It's that's almost 1915 and 1519, but it's not, it's, it's 1915 and 1419. It's fascinating, isn't it? And he have a vesture on his thigh, a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun and he cried with a loud voice saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. And ye may eat the flesh of the kings, the flesh of the captains and the flesh of the mighty men and the flesh of the horses and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bonds, both small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken with him and the false prophet that wrought the miracles before him, with which he deceived them and had received the mark of the beast and them that worshiped his image. And these both were cast into the lake burning with fire and brimstone they don't get death they don't get hell we're going to get into this deeper it's the same story told over and over it's told in 19 it's retold again in 20 so uh and are we at the very end of 19 uh we've got one more verse tomorrow let's just go ahead on and add it today but we'll start with it tomorrow and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. All right, love you very much. Ask questions anytime, please. That's what I'm here for.